So, Mr. Wilson and Mr. Dave, what will you guys be up to? I'll be off to work as usual. Today, I have a very important assignment that has something to do with events in Pine Tree Park and Hotel Junction Station. I'll be off to work in the catering logistics to the trains of Starlight Railways, and after that, I need to find someone who would be a perfect stepmother for my kids Brian and Emma. Wait, what? Mr. Dave, what happened to Catherine? Because, Mr. Jonathan, it turns out my wife was an entitled and extremely abusive Karen, and I'm not joking. When I used to be childish, she constantly goes tappy genocide on me, denying my wishes to be happy. Whenever I wanted certain items for my own amusement, even if I bought them using my own money, Catherine would write and rave about it for no reason other than making me miserable, and steals the items I bought for who knows whatever that bitch does. And when I acted mature, her turtok side is becoming more visible as time goes by. Wait, there is more to her than what people think? But why do other people think you are at fault for wanting certain items? What kind of darkness does she have? Black magic or something? It turns out that fucker is a child abuser. Whenever I get locked in my room, I can hear voices of Brian and Emma in distresses and panics, as if they are crying for help, and other voices are also heard, which are from Catherine, who actually abuses them, forcing them to act mature and like an adult, enforcing them to constantly study impossibly hard about businesses, mega corporations, and the fake futurist propaganda of autonomous electric cars, fake fantasy technologies like vacuum pots, and things like cryptocurrency and the so-called virtual lifestyle through some kind of metaverse. Oh my fucking shit fuck. She must be those big tech big oil and big car whores. What the fuck is wrong with her? I thought she was a good person like a good babysitter and a good tutor. That was all a lie, Mr. Jonathan and Mr. Wilson. I've heard some kids are starting to complain about Catherine babysitting them. One of them complained to their mother that when they want to order from Pizzazz Pizza, Catherine denies them that by saying that Pizzazz Pizza sucked donkey ass and throws insults at the Italian restaurant franchise. And that kid was actually a good kid, but their mother believed Catherine instead and grounded the kid for no apparent reason. But Mr. Dave, what does this have to do with you finding a new wife for your children? That fucking bitch threatened to spank Brian and Emma, as well as some visitors when the visitors came to our apartment room. Catherine was deliberately being an asshole, because she truly is an asshole, and that's where I draw the line, and at the point, I filed for a divorce, and now Brian and Emma are in my custody, so I can allow them to refresh their minds and get back to childhood that they missed out on. Nowadays, Brian and Emma are playing video games, partying with other kids, and having fun in general. Brian and Emma told me they now extremely hate Catherine for her own bullshit. Guess she's just a motherfucking son of a bitch. Oh my god, it's some Karens. What the fuck is this? A group of cyclists hanging out in a cafe? What in the fucking hellhole is wrong with you? You four shits disgust me and my friends, you fucking know that. Ladies, what are you three talking about? In business Trendopolis and cities of Goanimate land, almost everyone commutes by walking, cycling and public transit. Is it really wrong to commute by bicycle? Yes there is something wrong with that. You disgusting cyclists are hindering the drivers of cars. You motherfuckers should get off the roads that belong to cars, or better yet, you all should get yourselves a car, especially a Tesla electric car or an electric sports utility car for all we give a fug, that is the American way. Wait, let me get this straight, you must be one of those tech giant simps who binge and jack off on those electric cars? Why am I not surprised? If you're promoting electric cars, you are promoting unethical material mining using child slave labor, and not to mention, the more people drive cars, traffic will be worse like in the United States of America and Canada. And besides, electric cars are still cars, and they cause the owners to be trapped in an ever-ending lifetime debt from fuel prices, oil industry dependency, car maintenance and car insurances. Because that is how the American way works. We are American citizens, so our voices must be heard that we are demanding you to binge and jack off to car companies, especially American car companies that make Tesla electric cars and giant electric sports utility personal trucks. And also, tell the government and oil industry to destroy all the public transit infrastructures to make way for car-centric strodes and super-giant highways with giant car lanes so that the car companies and tech companies can profit off of you. What? Are you fucking deluded or something? Electric cars are not the solution. 
It's people in transit-oriented environments. With trains, people can commute faster to their destinations efficiently, and if you want to commute on your own, the bicycle is the best option as cycling allows you to essentially exercise without thinking you're exercising. And speaking of cars, I am not a car-dependent soccer mom who drives my non-existent kids to school or soccer practice. I am a JDM tuner car enthusiast and I drive my Toyota Supra RZJZA80 for leisure and track racing. What the fuck? You drive your car for track racing and leisure? Unacceptable. You should commute by your car, not these two wheel terrors. Don't you know the benefits of a car for daily commute? You can go wherever you want whenever you want, and you are free. Bitch please, our bicycles already gave us freedom to go wherever the fuck we want whenever our asses want, so you are essentially contradicting your poor bastard asses. Get real, you motherfucking fools. But think about it. When you buy groceries, you need to buy them in large bulks, so you need a car to carry that many groceries. Also, if you are buying something large like a television set, how are you gonna carry said TV set back home if not using a car or a pickup personal truck? Well, you motherfuckers must have been living under a rack. Well, to tell you the truth, trains and trolley buses now provide cargo spaces for people buying big stuff and stations and bus terminals are now providing cargo amenities for those who go cycling with bicycle trailers. And to be even more advantageous, we cyclists can even haul small compact bike trailers if we need to bind blocks, so your car argument is invalid. Do you want to know who we are? We are Catherine, Karen, and Taryn, and we as car industry and capitalism lobbyists and American citizens will get whatever we want, no matter the consequences. Yeah right, car dependency has no benefits at all, only severe consequences like animals being killed, mass pollution from exhaust pipes, tire emissions and unrecyclable car batteries, and also unethical environmentally destructive child slave labor mining and all the bullshit just to satisfy the greeds of American capitalism. Also, the government of GoAnimate Land are wise enough to listen to Starlight Enterprises who spearheaded the GoAnimate Rail Revolution of Recovery. And you can thank the Polo Poppers R.L.D., Amity and Ringo for that. Yeah, it's no use bitches. Trains, trolley buses and bicycles are sexier than car dependency. I like cars only for the racing and I own a Bugatti Veyron for leisure and professional track day racing. You'll never see me commute with such a beautiful race car, as I just use my red bicycle over there for local commutes and take the trains and trolley buses for commutes that are 10 kilometers long or more. Oh, wait a minute, that blonde long-haired bitch, you must be the wife of the childish dad, yeah? Well, this is an irony because now you are acting also entitled, and why is that? Ever since my husband grew mature y'all of a sudden, I lost my only victim I push over y'all around, and after he ordered a McDonald's Big Mac and paid all of our orders for us, we found out that our car has been destroyed, and as time went on, Brian and Emma are now siding with Dave, and I got divorced because I snapped at all three of them. Well good riddance, because I will have a better husband in the name of Keris the Red Boris Clone. And that's why I became entitled, so that's why I demand you low lives to commute by car regardless of the laws and regulations of this damned nation. Oh shut, oh, shut up with up your car dependent bull fucking shit you whores. You fuckers are a disgrace to this country, and a disgrace to humanity. We don't want to commute by car all the time anymore, as cycling, walking and use of public transit allow us to manage our time, money and lives for the better, so saw the fuck off or we'll report this to the police. Do you bitches fucking understand my words clearly or not? Get an electric car, 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 get an